Hello engineers, welcome to Jail Consult. In today's video, I will be explaining the types of MEP engineering project. Keep watching. MEP or Building Services Engineering has explained to be a field of engineering that provides amenities and services to the building or building occupant. With this, MEP engineers do classify building, which can also be called project in construction industry, based on the classification of occupancy. As the main goal of any MEP project is to ensure sustainability and high quality of living to the occupants of any kind of building or apartment, standards to use for the project design and execution are based and formulated on this classification. This classification includes residential projects, which are projects designed for occupants sleeping overnight in an apartment. It includes projects for a multifamily apartment, hotels, motels, etc. The second is the public assembly project which are projects designed for a space or apartment where people gathered for a specific purpose. Such an apartment must be able to occupy more than 50 people at a time. This includes restaurants, auditoriums, theater, stadiums, etc. We still have the educational projects, which are projects solemnly designed for buildings serving educational purpose. The fourth is the industrial project, which are projects designed for an apartment where goods are to be manufactured. The fifth is the institutional apartment project, which are projects designed for any form of apartment, rendering assistance to the public. It includes hospitals, prisons, etc. And the sixth is the business apartment project, which are projects designed for places where services are provided. Example includes government buildings, agencies, banks, business offices, etc. We still have the high hazard apartment project, which are projects designed for a building where toxicants are being produced or stored. The eighth is the commercial project, which are projects designed for an apartment where goods are displayed. They are also called mercantile projects. Example includes malls, supermarkets, stores, gas stations, etc. The ninth are the storage apartment projects, which are projects designed for places where items are stored. It includes warehouses, parking lots, garages, etc. We still have the utility apartment project, where the project is designed for places which serve constant utility Example includes service reservoirs buildings. We still have the water to wash, bands, and lots more. The last of them all are apartments, which serves two or more of the above functions together. Such a project is called a mixed apartment project. A building services engineer has to know all this so as to be able to undo the project efficiently. For example, NFPA 13R is a fire suppression standard for residential apartment projects only. NFPA 72 standards focus only on industrial and commercial apartment projects, while NFPA 101 focus on storage areas. We still have the hourly analysis programs app 
for non-residential apartments. This trend goes for all the trades in the building services engineering industry. Hope you understand these classifications as they will always be referred to during the project execution process, most especially during the project design stage. Hope you find this video useful. Comment below please and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.